Peace and blessings to you. I am Michael Bernard Beckwith, and on behalf of the Leadership Council of the Association for Global New Thought, we have a message for you. Our hearts are wide open, actually torn open, regarding the mayhem that has occurred in Charleston, South Carolina, at the Emanuel Church. And we want you to know that we're holding this particular incident in prayer, and we're calling upon all of us to go deep within themselves to find that kernel of compassion as described as the understanding of the lack of understanding. That sense of compassion that lifts us all up so that simultaneously we're saying no to events like this, but we're saying yes to something higher emerging as a species, as a society, as a, as a global family. We hold us all in prayer during this time. Peace. Namaste, I'm Reverend Temple Hayes. This is the moment right now as we're all facing the situation in Charleston with families, and more important, with lives. Every life matters. Hold true the statement that united we stand and divided we are merely a distraction. Let us take this moment and stand for life and how much life matters. Join us in prayer. Join us in the consciousness of ag and that it is time for a new beginning, and let us hold that together in prayer. I'm Dr. Roger Teal. At this tragic time, I invite us, as our hearts are broken, to remember that they also can be broken open. Broken open to acknowledging the universal love that is within and all around us. And may we hold those families and that church community and all the people of Charleston in our compassion uh, knowing that a balm of love is there for them. This is something we can do because we're all one. So we can lift up our hearts right now and embrace and bless them. And also remember that chaos and travesty can be generative. They can actually generate a higher knowing. And may we all know that, that out of this pain, we'll create and build something that contributes to the advancement of humankind. May love guide us. May our hearts remain open. God Reverend bless you. Wendy Craig Purcell. This is a time for us to look at how we can change the conversation around what's happened in Charleston. We hold the high vision of a different kind of world, a world of peace and justice and safety for all, while at the very same time allowing our hearts to be open to the very real loss and tragedy that has happened. And so when we are in conversation about this with family, friends, coworkers, let us not move the conversation into a place of separation and hatred and revenge, but let us lift the conversation higher to that which heals, that which unites, that which blesses us all and brings forth a world of peace and love and harmony. Namaste. I'm Dr. Ken Gordon from Centers for Spiritual Living. So the universe is trying to tell us something right now. It's very, very apparent. It's open. This is not an isolated instance. This is a demonstration of the consciousness of our society that right now requires a changing. What we require is a greater and a bigger idea than we've had before. A bigger idea around spirit, a bigger idea around love, a bigger idea around light. What I wish and desire to have happen and occur through these experiences is that our society learns that we work in harmony and we live in harmony and that we move forward with the joy that is ours by our inherent birth. Accepting that this must be the reality, I simply accept it as my truth and refuse from this point forward to back down or break away or to hide or to run from this particular idea. I will no longer withdraw or withhold. I simply am going to stand for the truth in these circumstances every time they occur, recognizing and knowing the truth behind them. My blessings and my empathy goes to the families in Charleston and to our society, knowing that we grow forward into the joy and the light and the beauty that is the truth of who we are. Thank you. David Alexander, and I just want to invite all of us into a prayerful time of healing and compassion and conversation. If you're feeling what I'm feeling right now, you're feeling vulnerable, you're feeling open, you're feeling raw, and that's as it should be. There is no active compassion in the world without empathy, and there is no empathy without vulnerability. So I invite you to join in prayer 
in healing conversations with your neighbors, with your friends, with your family, in your church communities. Let's use this time to really come together, to feel together, and to heal together. We can do this. We are the ones, and this is the time. Peace and blessings.